An emotional testimony from Janae Edmondson and her mother on day three of the trial against Daniel Riley. Riley faces multiple charges, including assault, armed criminal action, and driving without a valid license after he allegedly hit Janae and severed both her legs. The crash happened last February in St. Louis while that teenager from Smyrna was in town for a volleyball tournament. News 2's Tori Gessner joins us in studio with more on today's testimony. Tori. Mark Janae Edmondson told the jury she was with her parents walking back to the car after her final game that day when she saw Daniel Riley speed toward them. She says she grabbed her dad, told him to watch out, and as they were both running back to the curb, she was hit. Janae described the warmth and pain she felt afterward. She was stuck lying on her stomach and says her mom held her face and told her not to close her eyes. Janae's mother, Francine, told the jury she was frozen in shock while her husband was yelling to the crowd for a tourniquet. Francine says she was terrified her daughter was going to die. Janae also described the long, ongoing recovery process, including how she had to rip off the new skin that would grow over her bandages when she changed them every day. She says she became depressed wondering why this happened to her. It was just awful. I was had stabbing pain all throughout my legs. I was numb majority of the time that I was in the hospital and even um, coming out. And even now, my legs are still numb in places and I can't feel hardly anything. But it was stabbing pain all through like down my back into my hips and my legs and it's just I just couldn't deal with it anymore and it just got to the point where I was like just tired of it and I just felt helpless because I couldn't do anything except for deal with it. Experts previously testified Daniel Riley had THC, fentanyl, and codeine in his system at the time of the crash. The prosecution rested its case today, and Riley's defense team called four witnesses and also rested their case. Mark. All right, Tori, thank you so much.